Hey everyone, welcome back to another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Um, with Season 6 upcoming in a few days, we throw together this absolutely ridiculous character. Um, it's not always easy for me to showcase build Class 8, since this is not a hero, hero editor or any shenanigans like that. I actually play the character, it's an online multiplayer character. So what I do is I hop in the background of the carnival, okay. So as you can see, the damage is there, most definitely. Uh, Merc says bye-bye here. <laughs> you absolutely have to babysit them in cow level. Uh, I will show you the gear, of course, in a second. But just wanted to show you the damage. But it's ridiculously fast. Um, it's more like a fire and forget type of playstyle. But the question is, is the build worth 30 high runs? Um, I will do a quick calculation on how I come up with this price or number. Let's say 20, 20 to 30 high runs. It depends a little bit, right? Do you trade for the gear at the beginning of a season, etc., etc. But yeah, it's a fire trapper, very generic fire trapper. Uh, for the people who don't know, they changed how traps work in Resurrected. Like two seasons ago, question, question mark. So minus resistance now is now working with traps. So it's effectively above. Or rather, in case of the fire traps, speaking of resurrected at least, now they are somewhat viable. So, let's talk about the gear and why I think it's around 30 high runs. Uh, keep in mind, I play the game like people played the game like 15 years ago, so I don't use any forums for trading or anything like that. I am, for the majority of time, I just trade in game. I very rarely use a uh, tradery. Um, yeah, with that being said, so Enigma for the armor, for teleport, obviously, OP, OP, everybody knows this armor. Um, Jaw and Burr, yeah, yeah, those are high runes, right? But high runes have, have different value within the training community. So I'd say a Burr rune is like three high runes, and a Jaw rune is like three high runes. So let's assume I find the base that's six high runes right here. Uh, Vex is like half a high rune, and so on. You have uh, Phoenix two times. Absolutely waste of high runes. <laughs> I do not recommend you recreate this character, honestly. Um, there would be a better sword, and uh, just a six socketed faceplate. But it was too much of a headache for me to trade for six five fives in red, right? And yeah, I went with just Phoenix. Um, it's two two percent less fire pierce that's the difference because all the other stats on the sword don't even matter like i made a three four a 5.5 .5 high rune uh weapon for 28 minus fire assist basically um yeah that's what's up I'm using alduas uh because yeah all this fire damage like on my own character hurts uh, Aldous has nice, nice mods overall, right? Running, walk, life, and a lot of fire resistance. Using SJ and BK hearing here. Um, I don't even bother with cannot be frozen. Players 1 <laughs> setup like this absolutely destroys everything. Okay, it's just total obliteration. Um, so yeah, I, I don't even care about uh, cannot be frozen. Also, if I am able to teleport, same like on a Sorg. I don't know, Cannot Be Frozen is overrated, unless you play hardcore. This might be a different story. One of the newer rune birds, one of the newer rune birds, called Flickery Flame, really, really cool. You can do a lot of builds with this now. Um, you know, it just fits the build perfectly well, right? So treat the fire skills, fire pierce, um, and a nice fire resist aura. Not too bad. Um, yeah, the better Phoenix, I'd say. Gives a redemption aura. Uh, it's kind of iffy sometimes with death, death Sentry, but at the same time not really though, because uh, this triggers way faster. Like this triggers before you get a tick of the aura most of the time, okay? Like in 90% of the cases, I'd say. But yeah, it's, it's kind of weird having redemption aura and trying to uh, use the corpses from dead enemies. These gloves actually give one to traps. 
it says one to fire skills, so really nice. <laughs> Other than that, fast cast rate, which is useful for teleporting. Belt, pretty much the same. One skill, faster cast rate for the amulet. Um, I have a Maros in the stash. Everybody knows Maros, but this is actually a little bit more damage, so I prefer just the blue traps amulet. Uh, in the offhand, of course, buff up, call to arms and spirit. Any random plus skill sheet would do here, even the Saigons, honestly. Inventory, of course, skiller, skiller, skiller. F1 with life. Uh, Fire Thunder here. A torch. An Annie. A uh, random 7mf small charm I found in the last cow level, I guess. That's my gear. Mercenary gear. Or dude. And Dario is with a random 15 IS druid. Usually I suck at a raw rune here. Never found a never found a 15 IS tool and a RAL rune at the same time, if you know what I mean. 15 IS, 30 fire S or 40 fire S. Gotta be like the most rare thing you can find. And infinity, of course. Um the build can kill players eight cows without infinity. So if you're totally not gonna use a mercenary, the build costs only around 20 high runes. Um, let's go back to the calculation real quick. This is six high runes. Uh, one of the Phoenix is 5.5. So we have uh, 11, 17, 18.5. Like that's like 20 something. Maybe you need to trade for a base as well. Like if you, if you, I feel sorry for you. If you, if, if you have to trade for Ethereum Rational for Sockets, oh my God. Who are you, man? I, I hope everyone everyone watching this video finds one in the cow level. Uh, because there would be another Harun right there, just the base. Um, yeah. Pekka Skillers, like a full inventory, cost like one Harun at least. A decent torch at any cost like one Harun at least, if you would trade for it. Yeah, ISOJ cost a little something. Uh, BK cost a little something. So if you sum it up, it's around 30 Harun's. So is it worth it? Yeah, why not? Uh, if you have the high runs laying around. But other than that, like like for me personally, mm, this will always stay just a letter uh, letter reset. Cheesy starter build, right? Just a cheesy starter build. Um, equip the equip the rune word, leave, and just uh, smash the entire game with free to fire skills, because like lightning traps. This is one of my favorite builds, and I have a lot of hours on to, uh, like I have a, a lot of playtime on a Lightning Trap Assassin. If I combine all this with like old school D2 and stuff, and I can I can compare, okay? Like I played a shit ton of Fire Trapper, um, also on like all the private servers, and I played a shit ton of Lightning Trapper, so I can compare. And I, I still think, even with a setup like this, I don't know if you can get it any better than that, honestly. I think, it, I think the character is pretty decked out. Um, a lightning trap is still better. Like the lightning trap build is still better. The lightning trap is still better. All like it all comes down to how the trap works. Um, this shoots five times. The lightning trap would shoot ten times, and has way more damage. You see what I'm saying? So you get just more damage for less mouse clicks, basically, if you play a lightning trap build. I think it's more about personal preference. How are you? How ridiculous do you want your sc screen to look like, right? Like if you want the total overkill, you make a Phoenix Strike Assassin. If like lightning traps and lightning in general is like too much on your eyes, you go with the fire traps. Yeah, that's what I think about the build. Is it worth it? I don't know. You decide. You decide. Have you played a new, in quotes, new fire trapper? Uh, since they changed how the um like how the ele elemental pierce works, which this build is at 69% because of bad rolls somewhere. Um, yeah, the minus resistance roll on Phoenix is always the same, I guess. I think only the redemption aura uh, rolls. So weird. Like, it's so weird seeing Phoenix in a sword. Insane, right? Um, let's talk about the skill tree for a second. 
Don't put one point in Dragon Talon. Uh, I don't know why, am I, why I did this. Just for shits and giggles, I guess. Uh, instead, put it in Burst of Speed. But the trap skill tree. So, max out these three. Yeah, and that's it. I would usually stop there. <laughs> I would usually stop there and respec into Lightning. But, you yeah, know, that's the main attack. Can throw additional Fire Blasts, which will increase damage tremendously. This is a single target trap. Deals decent damage. I don't even have it as a... I don't even have it, have it as a keybind. So it says, okay, mm, that's not that great. Kind of, it's kind of weird, you know. Show it to you in a second here. Like, it's just a flamethrower. It's cool against bosses. Like, you can gr grill, you can grill Diablo pretty good. But other than that, yeah. You will always, almost always use the other one, the ridiculous one. The ridiculous Wake of Fire AoE trap. Then I put 20 points into Death Sentry. That's pretty much it for, this, for the uh, trap tree. Shadow Disciplines, uh, one point in Cloak, one point in my Blast. Super good crowd control abilities, can stun lock enemies almost forever. Um, one point in Fate. Sometimes I stand AFK in a corner and I barely run right. Activate Fate and I'm like tanky. I'm not all res, I guess, but better than nothing. But most of the time I use Burst of Speed. That's where I put all my remaining points. One of the best uh, letter starters you can play. One, one of the best letter starters you can play, like hands down. Well, season start, like a fire trap is absolutely bonkers, okay? Like equipping leaf at level 19 is just so apart. It's just, it, let's call it how it is, it's just so apart. But for endgame setup, I would play, if I would have to choose, I would play a like endgame setup, lightning, sentry, uh, a trap uh, any day over fire trapper, especially because Griffins works now with the lightning traps, right? Oof. So, there is that. Uh, stats the usual, enough strength and dex to wear the gear, uh, and rest in two vitality. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, let me know what you think about the build. <laughs> would you farm up? Would you farm up around 30 high runes? I would only recommend it as a ladder starter. Thanks for watching, and I catch you in the next one. Later!